screen here. Hi guys, welcome to another video of mine on this really cool DIY channel video info where we get to make something and have fun. In this video, I have my children here. Dad, say hi. Hi. We have Tim. Tim, say hi. Hi. So I'm gonna help them learn how to salvage some of their own broken toys as well as help them learn a little bit of container gardening. And so without further ado, let's get started. So we have collected these building blocks. They all look colorful and nice. After constant use, the blocks tend to lose grip on one another, while some get cracks. Kids discard these at this stage because whatever they make tend to fall apart. So we will use this to make a container that can hold a plant. We started out by making a basic shape and building on it. But after a point we realized we had used up all the blocks and the container did not have enough depth. So we dismantled it and came out with a smaller container which seems apt for a tiny plant. The container seems to hold itself together. But will it hold the plant inside? Some blocks are falling apart already and the little one seems to enjoy it. While the elder son is trying to fix it, the younger one is getting into his party mode. Let's get back to work. At this stage, I decided to use hot glue to make the container strong and sturdy and make it into a permanent fixture. The next stage was to collect some garden soil. Most kids love this part. They all love playing in mud, don't they? Just ensure they don't put their hands in their mouth at any stage. Try to take the coco bit and put it inside the bucket. Then it was time to mix the coco peat, vermicompost and the garden soil in a larger container. We collected some gravel and layered the bottom of the container we had made. This is to ensure a proper drainage for the plant. While all this is happening, the 2 year old is already partying. Getting back to work. Once the gravel was laid, the potting soil was filled in. And for the most important part, we need a plant to grow in there. I found this homegrown ginger plant which should be fine for this container. It was then carefully planted in the container and the last step is to water the plant. Little little, uh, poda, poda. So here is our weekend family bonding container garden. Hope you like it. We are on the ending part of the video and this is the container that we have made with building gloss. We have put some potting soil inside and we also put a ginger plant. Now there are two things that I wanted my kids to learn from this exercise. One is learn how to use junk to make something creative and learn how to grow your own food. Uh, I hope they've got something from this video. I hope you like this video so please comment, like and subscribe. And all my subscribers, thank you so much for making this happen. And for all the others, I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.